Hey guys, today on PC Guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get free Windows 10 keys. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need a student email address, whether this is university or high school. Most of the time it works. I've also heard that you can just create an email address that ends in .edu and that's going to work too. I haven't tested it myself. I have a college email address, so that's what I use. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the website in the description and you're going to hit sign in. Now what this is, is this is the Azure Tools student package and that's usually for server management but it includes a bunch of keys for Windows 10. So you're just going to sign in. Now it's important that you use that student email address to log in. Most email addresses with the .edu are going to work, especially if they're tied to an actual university. Once you're logged in, you're going to be brought to this page. And all you have to do from here is go to Download Software, and you'll see a bunch of options. Different education packages offer different things, but what you're looking for is anything that says Windows 10. Now there's a couple options up there, and then there's options down here. I prefer to use these ones up here and you're just going to left click on it and this is where your key is going to be. All you have to do is click view key and it's going to validate and there's your product key right there and that's what you're going to use to validate your copies of Windows. Now that you've got your key, all you have to do to activate is go to the type here to search in the bottom left and type in activation. That's going to bring up activation settings. You're going to left click on that and you're going to see here, if you haven't activated it yet, it will say an option to uh, give it a product key. And you're going to click on that, and you're just going to copy and paste the key from the last web page in there. Click Activate, and it's going to go ahead and activate your Windows for you. And that's how you're going to get rid of that nasty watermark that's always in the bottom right-hand corner. And get control of your desktop image. I hope this was useful to you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.